Good morning, everyone. This is Pam Lippett from Gracefully Graying, and I am here today with Gina Adams, and we're going to introduce her in a second. I'm just looking for my little logo to put up. Um, that's not it. We're going to we're going to get this right. Hold on. Here we go. And I'm here from Gracefully Graying. This is a live show. This is our first Tuesday live. I'm going to introduce you in a minute, but I would be remiss if I didn't tell everyone listening a little bit more about Gracefully Graying as we get started. So Gracefully Graying is a startup for people to connect to resources about growing older, either for themselves when they don't really feel like they're growing older, and also for assisting their loved ones. Because I at 11 o'clock last night, I had a conversation with someone who was out of town with her grandchildren and running back to her mother. So these are the kind of things we sit in the middle of and are here to provide information for you. We have an active presence on our website, which is gracefullygraying.com. Facebook, YouTube, you can find us everywhere. So I am absolutely thrilled today to introduce you to our first live guest, Gina Adams. Good morning, Gina. Good morning. Thank you so much, Pam. It's awesome to be here. And I just have such admiration for what you guys are doing for us um, aging individuals and creating a nice community um, where people can connect and, um, you know, not have to go through this alone. Right. So thank right. you. Thank, well, thank you. And we are actually, I'll, I'll give our teaser first. We are very proud to say that we now have one of Gina's products that she's going to talk about in the Gracefully Graying store. So at the end of this, whenever you watch this, it doesn't need to be now, it can be in replay. If you're looking for a great and meaningful gift for the holidays, we've got something coming up for you. So, Gina, tell us a little bit about yourself. We've known each other for probably five years or so. We met through the Lawrence Tech um, Centropolis, the Lawrence Technolo uh, Technological University Centropolis, and their startup program. So, Gina, introduce yourself. Yeah, good morning, everybody. Uh, thank you for this opportunity to share a little bit about Wearology. We develop hardware here in the uh, heart of Metro Detroit to restore independence and empower people with physical challenges. I went back uh, just um, graduated in 2018 uh, with my MBA to learn kind of the insides and outs of launching a company. I've always been an entrepreneur at heart. Um, I ran an environmental nonprofit for 12 years uh, here based in Farmington Hills, Michigan called Peace, Love and Planet. And that was a great um uh, initiative while my kids were going through school. And now that they're a little bit older, I yep decided to go back to school myself. And so that's where you and I met. And yeah, the Centropolis Accelerator is just really uh, a premier hardware startup. So if you're developing a physical product, um, it's a lot different than service industries, right? And right. so uh, the, the prototyping involved in getting the product right is really uh, where where ology stems from, um, the, the, that's where the name from uh, comes from in terms of ology, the idea of ecology and studying one's environment. Um, and so, yeah, it's just been such a, an exciting and fabulous journey. Thanks. And tell us about the IE because I think that's really purpose yes. and meaning. So the name Wearology, as I mentioned, uh, you know, it's kind of tongue in cheek because our first product, Buttons to Buttons Magnetic Adapters, helps people dress and undress independently. And so this idea of hardware, but ology, the IE stands for independence and empowerment. And it also just happens to be one of my favorite clothing stores, Anthropology, which I find is super uh, fabulous and cool stuff. So, well, you know, I think we should like get them to fund you or something. So <laughs> I would love that. I would take um, a consignment in their clothing. That's a different, that's a different conversation, right? <laughs> right. But it actually ties together with, you know, what brought us 
together um, yes. with our buttons to buttons magnetic adapters. We were able to acquire our patent this year, so I'm really excited to be celebrating that. Um, we improved the magnetic holding force. So my background. So let's, is, let's back up a yeah. little bit. I'm going to put up our little slideshow. Oh, please. Yeah. And tell people, give people a, a oops, a definition of what I'm going to, I need to go back yeah. to the other slide. So hold on. We're going to, we're going to get, we're going to leave this for a moment. Tell people where this idea came from as I get this. Uh, so back. My when I witnessed the impact of Parkinson's on my father, it really um, inspired me to look at what type of assisted living tools are available for people that may have tremors or um, dexterity challenges. You know, arthritis. I was shocked when we started doing our customer uh, research while I was going through my MBA at Wayne State. Um, and sadly, dexterity issues are a common symptom of numerous illnesses, whether you're recovering from stroke or um, faced with something more degenerative like arthritis. Um, so buttons to buttons are a unique first to market adapter that retrofits your own shirt buttons into a magnetic closure. And it makes getting dressed um, super fast and easy. You do have to have, um, you know, dexterity to actually install them, but one part snaps to the button like um, Tupperware almost. It just clips on over that. And then the other part attaches through the buttonhole. So. And you uh, could have like an, if you have an aide or a spouse or a, a set the buttons up and then you can, someone can use them. Right. And if you can see the screen, you see how they're sold in sets of nine. A typical shirt has nine buttons, seven in the front and two, and they are transferable. So you can um, put them on your flannels for the winter and then swap them out when it's time to head south and put on your uh, short sleeve Hawaiian shirts. Um, but they're also machine washable. So, um, you know, prototyping, I'm going to go back and give another great shout out to the Centropolis Accelerator because really if you have an idea that is just such a, a small portion of the the magnitude of bringing a product to market and commercializing consumer goods you got to have a really strong path of distribution um and you have to have an incredible team and so uh you know we talked a little bit earlier when we first uh jumped on the call about Oh, being agile, right? And and how, you know, I feel like I found my life's purpose, right? My background, I forgot to mention, is in the apparel industry. So I used to work for the North Face and just have a really deep appreciation for high quality performing products. Um, I have high standards and I'm kind of one of the those individuals that buys for quality and longevity. So um, I still, in fact, have several of my North Face jackets because they're um, they're a bomber. You cannot destroy them. They're, right. you know, they're really designed for strong um, elements, you know, when it's super cold out. So uh, that's, you know, I, I carry that type of level of uh, expectations for our current products. And so um, that's why, you know, we mentioned earlier this idea of studying one's ecology and really participating in user experience research and development programs helps us um, really develop superior performing products. And so um, if we have time, I would like to kind of give a plug for our, our pivot, our 2020 pivot. Of course. And, um, and, and then I have a couple questions. So give your pivot. Okay. Your pivot. So mind you. Surprise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we launched with Buttons to Buttons, now sold globally in September of 2019. So we are celebrating our two-year uh, mile marker this year. And um, then, you know, that little darn global pandemic kind of got in the way. And we started researching how COVID was impacting people with disabilities disproportionately. And of course, 
our seniors and our most vulnerable um, community members in their own isolation and how that impacted people um, both physically and emotionally, right? So we stepped up to a call to action by Cedar Hill Caring Community who needed a mobile device to administer physical therapy. And yeah, talk about a pivot. Um, and, and we developed portable parallel bars and we were selected by the Veterans Health Administration um, Innovators Network to participate and collaborate in this incredible um, user experience research and development in Richmond, Virginia. So, I mean, talk about being agile. I would have never imagined if you would have asked me a year ago, Gina, are you developing, you know, physical therapy, um, FDA class one devices? And um, I would have probably said no way, no way. <laughs> but um, as you know, when, when uh, your stars align, you have to be ready to accept and pivot. And this has been one of those game changers for my small startup, for sure. We um, yeah, acquired a contract and took a napkin sketch idea of everybody's familiar with parallel bars, but the problem is that they're stationary. And we have people that are isolated in their rooms that are laying, um, uh, you know, without an opportunity to really stand up and walk safely. Uh, walkers on wheels are not exactly sturdy. And then, um, yeah, there, there's just limited options. So it's um, an exciting time for us. And portable parallel bars, they fold up in minutes. And um, they're on wheels and transport easily from patient to patient. So it's really a, a new way to revolutionize how we service our patients. So in, in the business parlance, your buttons to buttons are really B to C, business to consumer. Yes. But the parallel bars are, are really a B to B business, a business to business. So if yes. people are watching or listening and you are at, you work at a, uh, any kind of senior facility, this is someone you should reach out to Gina Adams and, and we'll put up her. LinkedIn, and I'm I'm sure you will accept some LinkedIn requests and offers. Yes, we are conducting in services. We're taking pre-orders. We're manufacturing these here in Michigan. Um, again, we've expedited the entire development process because of the urgency, and people are suffering from yeah. immobility. And we know that that uh, over 90 million people. Um, or physical therapy appointments are missed annually. 90,000? 90 90, no, 90 million 90 physical million. therapy yeah, appointments are missed annually. And so much of that is due to lack of access. And we know, um, you know, there's enough research out there that illustrates the advantages of early therapy. And so if people are in an acute care setting, for example, and hooked up to monitoring devices, transporting them to a physical rehab clinic is impossible, or you're going to spend a lot of um, time and exhaust, exhaust your patient, just transporting them down to the clinic. And so now we have a device that just is um, mobile therapy. You can deliver therapy directly to the patient bedside. And so uh, we are so excited to uh, roll this out and be scheduling in services. Well, I have to say, I'm going to start by saying I think you were the you are the perfect person to kick off our LinkedIn live uh, not our LinkedIn our Facebook live series. Um, I think you yourself kind of epitomize what Gracefully Graying is trying to do and who we're trying to reach. I, as you talked, I had like so many questions going on. What was it like to be? I mean, okay, MBA, I know the students are a bit older, but I'm not going to be surprised if you were amongst the oldest on the bell curve in a lot of your classes. So that's one thing that really caught me. Another thing that caught me 
was just the ability and and because we've known each other the ability to keep moving forward and i think that's a lesson for not only business but for life to figure out how to keep moving forward so first talk to me about what it was like because i bet we have people out there thinking i'm too old to go back and get a, another degree at college or i'm too bad to audit classes so tell us how that worked oh my gosh it was the best thing ever for me because it just opened up windows and opportunity and inspiration and amazing people because this was of course before um the pandemic and so just my my whole world opened up um and meeting really exciting and interesting people you know you can't do this alone launching a company is just tremendous work and if there are people out there who are kind of you know we talked about this pivoting in their own life right like the fact that i was able to find my purpose go back to my roots of product development and yet empowering people that are, again, one of, you know, this most vulnerable kind of population where we should be um, idolizing and uh, life should be simple and effortless. And so, you know, are we going to deal with fidgety budget or buttons? No, like let's just simplify things, right? Um, but the parallel bars, again, that was one of those pivots where based on demand, um, if we are able to help people get moving and out of bed and taking those first steps after uh, a surgery, right? Hip surgery or maybe limb loss, right? Um, then we're helping people move in that direction of getting home, being discharged and, you know, leading life to the fullest. And I am, uh, you know, gracefully graying. I, I do love that concept of approaching life gracefully, right? And I'm always flowing down the river. I, I don't want to paddle upstream. I want to make life smooth and effortless. And uh, and yet launching a company, if you're thinking about it, I highly recommend doing a tremendous amount of research and pulling your team together because um, at the end of the day, you can't do it alone. And so I, I think um, all of my team members out there and extended advisors who really have made this possible, um, including even the SBDC and BAF grants, you know, we've really bootstrapped. Well, the SBDC, this. for the people who don't know, is the small uh, business de SBDC de development corporation, right? It's yes. part of the federal government and it gives yes. grants out to startups, especially um, in the hardware and product lines. So, you know, uh, you're right. A lot of research goes into these things and it doesn't happen. It just, you know, I think people think, oh, I have an idea. I've had many ideas over my life. Yeah. And then, yeah, okay, that was, that. those were the ideas, but you took that idea and made it happen, which is unbelievable. So um, I just want to say that if, people are watching um, either live or later. If you put questions into the comments, either Gina or I will get back to you and move you forward. So we'll we'll get more um, answers for your questions. I'm, I'm also thinking about these parallel bars a little bit that um, there, I know so many people whose parents say, I'm not going down to rehab if they're in a facility. I'm just not going. I don't have the strength. I don't have the energy. I don't have the, the, the wherewithal. But if the parallel bars show up in your room, you don't really have all those excuses to move forward. And That's I think right. And I think it's the perfect um, kind of example of, you moving forward with wearology and this product and the buttons all move people forward and i think that that's just a a wonderful oh she's gonna are you, are you getting up are you getting something ready there i think it's 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 been wonderful we're gonna wrap up a little bit but it has been wonderful to watch what you're doing and your progress um I've met a lot of, you know, 22 year olds who think they're going to conquer the world. And then, you know, it's 
gone. But I think with age comes that wisdom to keep moving. Yes. And, you know, we talk about the the grit and that perseverance. If if it wasn't something that I thought I'm actually bringing value to people's lives, then there's no way I would be here. But, you know, I never thought it would be so hard to help people. And so <laughs> if you're going to jump in, just know that again the idea that's that's like five percent of of everything (laughs) there's so many pieces and just fortunately i was able to kind of um get the the uh, the the ground plan going through a lot of um scrutiny with professors and any chance i could i utilized uh buttons to buttons, that development phase, as well as the business through case studies in my classes, which made, you know, it made it fun. And of course, I kept getting the green light. Like, yeah, yeah, there are 50 million people with arthritis, you know, one of the leading causes of disability. And, and I'm there, like I joined the AARP this year and I'm, you know, yeah, I say I'll go gracefully, but I'm going to also go kicking and screaming too, because you know I'm pretty adventurous and, and you just, you have to know that getting into whether it's a service oriented company or, you know, reach out to us at Wearology. Um, thank you for posting the information on LinkedIn um, because we're always looking for support and introductions. At the end of the day, you can have a great product, but if nobody knows about it, it's going to go nowhere. nowhere. And so I am reaching out to, you know, your viewers and thank you and for this honor to kick off your um, Tuesday talks because, you know, this is an important issue. And I realized that the parallel bars, um, making them portable, like you said, no more excuses, Uh, people, let's get up and get moving. And then, yeah, then we'll talk about retrofitting your wardrobe into (laughs) magnetic buttons and so that you can dress because you're going to want to go out and you're going to want to wear your shirts. I don't know what your style is. So though though if for people who are ready, it's a great thing. And the, you know, one of the markets you're sadly you're missing is chemotherapy often creates um, loss Mm -hmm. of dexterity Mm -hmm. as well. And that's a whole nother market. Right. So, Range of motion. Absolutely. Yes. So there are so many ways. And, and, you know, just the idea of if you're watching this today and you're, you know, you got up and you got dressed and it wasn't a big deal. Think about people it's a big deal for. And so there are people in this world looking to find their purpose and do well and do it gracefully. And that's why this was a great kickoff. So we're going to end now. If again, if you have questions, if you want to reach out, oh, by the way, we were at we were in the background at at Wearology's world headquarters, also known as Gina's office. But don't yes. let it bother you because we're all at our offices. It's a good it's a good time to say, oh, I'm working from home. It connect is. with Gina, connect with us. You know, um, at, go to gracefullygraying.com and let's see, we're going to take this off. We're still playing with this. You can register, you can shop at gracefullygraying.com and get the buttons and see our other products and see other events that are coming up soon for the Gracefully Graying set. We're going to take this thing wide and strong and help people. So if you have an idea for something you'd like to hear about, That's also something you can put in the comments and you'll hear from us. So thank you so much today, Gina, from Gracefully Graying. We're saying goodbye and we will see you in two weeks on Tuesday morning. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you, Pam.